Hi, welcome to How to Repair. A lot of customers have been asking us about heat pump tumble dryers and how to enter diagnostic mode and understand the error codes. So I've managed to produce this video from the workshop manual for you. It will contain all the diagnostic procedure, self-test procedure and error codes, plus much more information. There was over 130 pages in this manual, which I had to extract the data from. I've timestamped the video for you and also set the pages up where I'm not speaking to about three, four seconds. So you're able to pause at any point to actually read the information on the screen. I hope you enjoy the video and I will be assisting you at certain points with error codes and test mode procedure. Section 1 will show you the control panel and also how to gain access. Section 2 is the self-test diagnostic procedure. You need to follow all steps and I suggest you have no clothing in the drum when doing this. Section 3, error code list. Now, following this will be all the individual error codes and I will try and assist where I can in explaining the problem with the machine. Error E01 is indicating a door lock fault. You need to check the wiring from the circuit board going to the door lock and also follow the procedure on the screen. E02, maybe the tank light is showing it's always full. You want to make sure you check wiring going through to the pressure switch. Make sure the pump is working correctly and transferring water. It's also worth checking all the passageways where the water flows, that there is no blockage. I have come across many blockages on these systems in the past. E03 error code is normally triggered by no moisture reading inside the drum or the drum is empty. I have done a detailed video on these moisture sensors and how to rectify the problem. E04 is indicating you may have a door lock problem. E05 error code. The machine is running but unable to dry the clothes. This could be either faulty wiring, NTC sensor or possibly the compressor is not activating to dry the clothes. E06, E07 and E08 are all pointing towards NTC sensor fault on the forward NTC sensor. I have put the values of the NTC sensors at certain temperatures on the screen here and there's also a detailed video in the description below on how to test NTC sensors. E09, E10 and E11 are all saying it's to do with the NTC sensor on the compressor. You need to check this following the steps on the screen here and also make sure the NTC sensor is operating correctly. E12, according to the workshop manual, is saying that you may have a broken belt. This is easily inspected by taking the lid off the machine to see if the belt is around the drum. But you need to make sure that the drum is turning and making sure that there are no blocked filters because it may be getting a false reading due to insufficient airflow going over the correct components. Error code E13 is instigating that either the drum is not rotating, so you need to inspect the belt and make sure the drum is rotating by taking the lid off. Make sure all the filters are clean and the airflow is working correctly. 
Evercode E16 and E17 are both suggesting that the machine is operating outside of the normal voltage requirements. I have done a detailed video on test meters and you will be able to see what voltage the machine is receiving with these meters. They are very cheap to buy and can also show you what consumption the machine is using. Error code E18 all the way through to E27 is pointing you in the direction of either bad connections to the circuit board or motor, the drum may not be rotating, this all needs to be checked, or you may have a circuit board failure. Error code E28 is pointing you towards the steam boiler, either a faulty component or bad connections. Error code E31 is instigating that you may have a problem with a filter or airflow. You also want to check the NTC sensors and also the connections. This next section is to do with the Wi-Fi connectivity. I don't have much knowledge on this, so I'll just let you read the manual. The next 20 or so pages are all to do with dismantling the machine and access to all components. The next few pages are all to do with individual component specifications. I hope this video helped you with your heat pump tumble dryer either in diagnosing the fault with it or repairing it. Thanks very much indeed for watching and remember you can always support the website by either buying the parts office or clicking on the Bipolar Beer page. Thanks very much indeed for watching.